So you're the mouse that was scurrying around here? Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then, perhaps you can be... What you are interacting with is merely a holographic projection, and a rather clumsy one at that, but it's all I could manage at the moment. As for myself, you gaze upon one of America's greatest minds, preserved through the miracles of science! Much more elegant than shambling on to some rotting corpse for all eternity, don't you agree? At the moment, they've been no use at all, but I have very few options. They can't even seem to remove a single ghoul from a house. Excellent! I cannot tell you how satisfying it is to find a suitable assistant after all these years. Now, the ghoul is a pain, and they require disposal, but Desmond is only of secondary importance. The real target is a device in his possession. He has a jabber which limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that, and I can extend my reach so much further! Yes, away with you! And you will be able to spread your knowledge across the astral plane. For all those wise enough to accept it. Yes, fellow seeker? May you f go past the flesh. I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? Nothing but the best for people who stay in my good graces. Now, you're ready to stop whining and listen. So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere, broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find this squishy little worm and finish him off for good. If I know Professor Calvert, and I do, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up his little talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point on the shore and install it. Easy, right? Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Now, go!
It is I, Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. But aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in the nearby trash compactor and we will never have to worry about it again. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed up old limey. You fool! What have you done? You will pay for this! Hey! No one betrays me! You understand? You will suffer this! You will... Ghoul... Both! Pay... Coming for you! That's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> 